Greetings, friends. As always, it's an honor to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. Just saw my trusty shepherd pass through. The title of today's video may seem a bit silly today. Why do jacks have wheels? Aside from the obvious reason, so the jacks are easy to maneuver from one location to another, there's another reason you may or may not be aware of. As you raise the jack, it doesn't go straight up. It has an arm that pivots. This means that the saddle is going to move and the wheels will need to move to compensate for this. That's why you always hear me say, make sure you're on a solid level surface when you use one of these. Friends, here you see me actually raising a vehicle I'm preparing to work on here in my shop. You can clearly see the wheels moving as the arm is pivoting to bring the vehicle up. Very important that these wheels are able to move. Okay friends, to demonstrate how much this saddle does move, I'm going to place the jack up against the wall with the two front wheels touching the wall. And I'm going to take a measuring tape and I'm going to measure how far the front of the saddle is to the wall and it's almost exactly two and a half inches if you can see that. Now I'm going to go ahead and fully extend the jack keeping the wheels up against the wall. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see that. And now the leading edge of that saddle is now 12 and a half inches from the wall. So that means that that saddle could pivot backwards as much as 10 full inches. Of course, if you don't raise it all the way, it'll be somewhat less than that. That's why I always say use these on a hard level surface. If you attempt to use this on a gravel surface or even asphalt on a hot day, these front wheels are going to dig in and this jack is not going to move. Well, something has to move. And sadly, it's going to be your vehicle that you're trying to jack. Now, it may not be a problem if you're only jacking one side, what's going to happen is the jack will pull the vehicle over to the side you're working on. And so it may not be a major deal, but if you're trying to use jack stands out there, what's going to happen is you'll jack the vehicle, place your jack stands, and when you go around to the other side, the uh, jack stand may tip. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Friends, to demonstrate what can happen, I've placed a jack stand up against that same wall. And the edge of the jack stand saddle is about three and a half inches away from the wall. Now, as you're jacking the vehicle on a gravel surface or a soft surface, as I said, the wheels are going to dig in. And what's going to happen is the jack is going to pull the car away from the other side and your jack could pivot as much as 10 inches. So let's say, let's break it to 13 and a half. And bam, it falls over. Well, it's not going to be that dramatic. Um, What's going to happen is uh, the jack position could slip a little bit. So you, you pick up an inch there and maybe the saddle of the jack will slip an inch or two and maybe you don't go all the way. You certainly will wind up leaning this jack stand uh, somewhat. 
So that's all I've got, friends. I want to thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I'm going to post two videos to your left, one of which will be a solution I came up with for using your floor jacks out on an asphalt surface. And the other will be one I hope you find of interest. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my trusty German Shepherd, my avatar. Feel free to click on that should you wish to subscribe to my channel. So thanks again, and we hope to see you all very, very soon.